My name is Dr. Marina Rode. I'm the aesthetic dentistry expert for dentistry.co.uk. And today I'm going to talk to you about patient conversion and treatment acceptance. Um, it seems like a silly thing to say, and it's obvious, but it's surprising how many dentists uh, don't think about the first impression that they make for a patient when they walk into the room. Um, the, I want to kind of like cut to a scene here of like a dentist busy typing on the computer and with their back to a patient uh, as a patient walks in, into the door. That doesn't make anyone feel welcome. If you want your patients to like you and to trust you and you want to show them that you really care, and I'm sure that you do, uh, put whatever you're doing aside, make sure when they come into the room, you stop, you look them in the eye, you shake their hand um, and make them feel welcome and welcome them into your surgery. And then once they're in, let them sit down and have a chat with them. You know, coming to uh, the dentist is, is a nerve wracking experience for the majority of people. Um, there's a the rare few that enjoy it. Um, so what we can do in, as, as professionals is make sure we take the time to talk to them, talk to them about their day, talk to them about a recent holiday, something they're wearing, um, anything to make them feel relaxed and feel like they're in a kind, supportive, comfortable environment. And then once you've, you've uh, established a, a relationship with the patient, then it's important to hear their reasons for coming in that day. And then I will often repeat their reasons back to them so they know that I've heard them and I've understood what they've said. Then we go through a thorough dental examination. We take x-rays, scans, photos, whatever we need. And we put all the evidence up uh, on the screens in, in, our, in our clinic. And so whichever screens you're using, your computer screen, if you don't have, have screens all over the room, um, put it up so that you're not asking the patient to take your word for it, but you're showing them evidence for any treatment that you're, that you're suggesting. So we have our x-rays up. I show them the x-rays. I explain, first of all, we forget far too often that patients can't read x-rays. They don't know which bit's tooth, which bit's bone. Um, explain to them this is tooth, this is bone, these are your roots, this black area here, this is where you've got some decay, this white area here, that's an old filling that you've got. And so go through explaining what everything is and then tell them what you're seeing and, and where your concerns lie. And then you can use software to help you. We have a, an AI software that we use at DRMR Clinic uh, that then we pop the, the x-rays through the AI and the AI then also creates a report on the x-rays. And patients love that because then they're not taking my word for it. You know, the, the AI is saying the same thing. And sometimes AI will pick up uh, issues that I've not picked up. So the, the AI reads x-rays on a pixelar level so they can see pixelar changes in interproximal margins um, and find that the patient's not flossing or they've started to get some decalcification and then you can show that to a patient as evidence that you know they're not flossing and, and why it's so important that they should. And then if you've got an intraoral scanner, obviously that's amazing to be able to open that up, show them their mouth and actually point out the plaque buildup they've got on the inside of their lower teeth, um, any ditching around fillings, any wear or issues that they may have. If you want to show them their bite, um, that's a really great communication tool. And then you have photos. You should be taking a full series of photos for every patient that comes in from full face to mouth, retracted mouth, uh, so that you've got that also to point out and show them um, where they, what they may want to change. So during the appointment itself, it's important that you're clearly communicating uh, everything that you're, you're explaining to the patient. You're not just saying words that they probably don't understand. You're using visual images to show them what it is that you're talking about. At the end of the appointment, we pass our patient over to the, treat the treatment coordinator. You can sit with them in a non-clinical environment and talk to them about the procedures that were planned, the costs involved with them, the different payment options, the appointments required. And we also send them a detailed plan, not written uh, in dental terms, but written in a way with images to show them this tooth has this problem, this is what you might want to do about it, and this is how much it costs. So it's all very clear. We may even send them a video explanation so they can really understand what was discussed on this day and they've got something that they can share with their, with their friends and family or anyone, any decision makers they have at home. The treatment coordinator then follows up with the patient afterwards to say, now you've taken all the information in, can I help you further? Can we set up a second chat? Where would you like to go from here? So the patient feels really supported through their journey. Uh, going through things like this uh, will create a really high acceptance rate. I have a very high acceptance rate uh, once patients come to see me because you build trust, you build uh, clarity, um, you're not hiding things, you're making very clear the treatments that you're suggesting, the patients don't leave confused, they feel, uh, they leave feeling cared for um, and like they've been, they've had a comprehensive examination and a comprehensive explanation of their options.